guys, my name is Claire. I am an Australian plant collector living in South East Queensland. Today I went to the Oxley plant sale. I lined up for 11 and a half hours. Not that that's a brag. And had a really good time actually. Got the plants that I wanted and I thought I'd do a bit of a plant haul to show you what I actually picked up. So I will do these probably in order from maybe the smallest to the largest. I think that might be the way to do it. I'm excited about all of these plants, but there's a couple in particular that I have really been keen for and are the main reason that I went to this sale and have been waiting for this sale from Oxley for a long time. And so there was a lineup and it was super great. So I'm gonna say so a lot in this video. I dragged my lovely husband along with me. I'm very grateful that he was willing to tag team between the line and the car with me for the 11-ish hours that we were waiting in the dark in the semi-cold for this plant sale. Um, we didn't get a lot of sleep. We did a lot of sitting and a lot of waiting. I'd brought a bit of reading to do, but it was night time and the lighting was not good. But chatting too much, let's get into the plants. They're here beside me. The first one that I got that I want to talk about is this Hoya Carrii. It is a green one. And as you can see, it has a very long stem and there's a few little bits coming through very slowly. Um, I love the heart-shaped leaves. There were the option of variegated ones as well, but I didn't actually like the variegation on any of them. So I decided to go for the plain green one. Um, and yeah, so this adds to my Hoya collection. I might do a video, I might do a series of videos that um, show each, I guess, kind of species of plant that I own and kind of, I guess, go through, you know, what I have, where I got them, how I take care of them. Uh, let me know if that's the sort of video that you would be interested in, please. Um, that way I can make sure that I am giving the people what they want. But yeah, so Hoya Carrii, or the heart leaf Hoya, I suppose. Really beautiful hearts. They're not all hearts on this plant, but this long boy here was the primary reason that I chose this one. That, and we didn't have a lot of time in the enclosure, the cage, for want of a better word, to pick the plants. And after being at Oxley, waiting outside for a very long time, we kind of just wanted to leave. Um, and get home and enjoy these beauties. So first plant, Hoya Cario. The second plant that I got that I wanna talk about is this beautiful Monstera Stanleyana. I think I said that right, Stanleyana. It's variegated, you can see it has some really beautiful creamy white splashes on the leaves and hopefully we can, that can be encouraged. The stem has white running through it as well and I'm really excited to see how this one grows really excited so yeah that's my monstera stanleyana my next plant i probably took the longest to decide which of the bunch that I actually had to offer um to purchase with this one this is my raphrodophora cryptantha it actually is two plants in one i think because it has two lines running up it, and I'll show it in a close-up, but it's got one coming up this way, and then if I turn it around, it's got one going up this way. Now, this guy's actually almost outgrown his pole. I have no idea what I'm gonna do when he does get too tall for it. If any of you know anything, or you know any experts on cryptanthus or shingling plants, please let me know, I would really appreciate the help, but, it's just really cute and I couldn't pass it up. So this is my Raphrodophora cryptantha. 
My second last plant is one that I have been wanting for a long time. I first, I guess, saw it or the first time that I really looked at it and thought, wow, I need this was a collector's plant who is on Facebook and Instagram. She's a Australian plant seller, uh, posted one. It was $300 though. And while it's not, is it the most expensive one? Well, it's not the, no, that would be the most I'd spent on a plant. I hadn't at that stage spent that much money on a plant yet. And it was going to be posted. I had just bought an Anthurium crystallinum from her and just couldn't really justify getting it. And I didn't, I showed my husband and was like, what do you think? Kind of trying to get him to be an enabler, I suppose. And he's really good at that. But this time I was like, no, I don't think it's worth it. And then there are auctions on eBay, Facebook, around the place. But again, they just get up and up and up. So I was looking for an affordable one of these and I was willing to wait, but I'm really glad I didn't have to wait too long. So this is my Philodendron Majestic. If you don't know, Majestic is a cross between a Philodendron Soderoi and a Philodendron Varicosum. You can see the back of the leaves have that red that a Varicosum has. It's got quite a nice texture on the stems. It's got a couple of little aerial roots starting to go through. Oh, and it's got a new leaf on the way. That's really exciting. There were only two in this size available, hence why I wanted to get there as early as I could. The sale started at 8 a.m. And my husband and I arrived outside the Oxley nursery at around nine thank goodness we packed camp chairs and pillows and blankets because it got down to 12 which isn't the coldest i understand but it kind of is if you're just sitting still outside all night it gets a bit cold but definitely worth it for this guy really really love it really excited hoping that it grows super big and strong and happy so that i can enjoy it forever <sighs> Now, finally, this is, I think, the reason that the majority of people turned up to the sale. These are the plants that we could see through the wire fencing into the little enclosure they were grown in. Little backstory, the owner at Oxley came out and kind of said hi to everyone lining up, took some photos and explained that they'd been growing these plants for three and a half years. They'd been growing them in this, it was um, protected from the wind, but everything else, there wasn't a hot house, so there was no extra humidity, there was no extra lighting, there was no extra heat. It just lived through the Queensland weather for three and a half years. So this is my Philodendron melanochrysum. It is so beautiful. This was the second smallest tier that they had on offer. I was originally going to go the smaller one, which has four leaves, I'm pretty sure. But lovely lady Avalon from Plants with Avalon. I'll link her uh, planty handles down below. She was she lives in Sydney. Um, she was also looking to try and score a melanocrysum from the Oxley sale. And I said, hey, look, how about we go splitsies with this one? I'll take a cutting in a couple of weeks once I air layer it and send it down to you. And she agreed. So I got to get the bigger plant. And really that means I get bigger leaves and I'll just send a few of these uh, cutting of the top leaves to Avalon and I think really it's a win-win situation and I can't wait for her to enjoy it as much as I will and I am so excited for that. It's so velvety and it's so long. I'll insert the measurements um, for the leaves and whatnot down below but I'm actually really confident with this plant um, based on its growing conditions and 
I think it'll really do well and thrive quite well here with me, or at least I really hope it does. Yeah, so this is my melanocrysum. Very exciting. Lining up was definitely, definitely worth the waves. That was really good fun. So, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, any recommendations for new videos, please put them down in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Like this if you are a fan of Aroids. I mean, who isn't a fan of Aroids? And don't forget to subscribe because I have lots of plans for new videos coming along. All right, see you guys.